All right, guys, we have a new intro here for the Bear Pack. Trey, if you want to pull up our subscriber goal, we are so very close to 9,000. We are 95 away, actually, from being to 9,000. We're going to give away a sports memorabilia giveaway. Uh, we're going to do that on our live show on Friday coming up here soon. And then we have the 10K subs for 1,000. And then the 12K sub, we're going to send someone to a game again. Probably not the Super Bowl, but who knows? You know, who knows? It depends on how, fa how fast you guys get us there. But, Trey, you would notice that we are down a man. Seth is no longer with us. He had to take a step back dealing with some family stuff. So we, Trey, we love having three people on the show. So we are going to fix that problem with this. Uh, we're looking for one person each week for each video to compete for $250 uh, on our college football, college basketball, NFL, or NBA video. This is going to be a contest for the Bear Pack to enter. All you got to do is comment Bear Pack on the video or sport you wish to compete in. So if you think you know the best, if you know the most in college football, you're going to comment on that college football video. If you think you know the most in the NBA, you're going to comment on that NBA video. Okay, that's how it works. You can only compete in one of these, one of the sports, guys. Only one of them. We will bring on one person per week to record videos for the lot for that selected sport, and they're going to give their picks for the entire week. So how that works is, an NBA, there's usually NBA every night. So we're going to have one person on the NBA show on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You're going to have seven picks. You're going to come on for the NBA. You're going to give out your picks for the entire week. The individual with the best record at the end of the season is going to win $250 for that sport. So we're going to have multiple people in and out every week. There's going to be someone different. If you think you're best in college football, you're going to comment on the college football video. If you think you're the best in the NFL, comment on the NFL video. We're going to keep a running score of everybody who comes on the show and gives out their picks for the week. The winner at the end of the season is going to win $250 for that sport. Something new, something fresh. We want to keep three people on the show, so we're going to ask the Bear Pack members to come on and give their best picks of the week. So if you're interested in that, comment Bear Pack on any of the videos you see this week. All right, Trey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Saturday, November 18th slate of games. Before we get into that leaderboard, if you see your name on here, reach out to us, bearsprofitplays at gmail.com, or you can do it at Twitter, at bearsprofit. We need to get everybody uh, ready to go for Monday, November 20th. We're going to start our contest, $250 for the person who has the best record at the end of the season for each of these sports. So if you see your name, please reach out to us, bearsprofitplays at gmail.com. All right, Trey, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Start us off. Yeah, at the moment, I am zero for zero, but I gave out Quinnipiac minus three and a half against Army. Whenever I was doing my notes, it was at one and a half. And then whenever we recorded, it was at three and a half. Whenever it tipped off, it was at seven and a half. So it looks like all the sharps were with me on there. I'm glad that I uh, was uh, at least the first one on it, at least in my head. So, and they're up by 11 at half time. So far, so good. Just got to hold out hope. Yep, and I've got Providence on the money line against Trey's Kansas State Wildcats. Game hasn't started. It starts in about three minutes. It's 4.57 right now, so hopefully uh, we get off of here and Providence can uh, kick some Kansas State butt. But let's take a look at the plays for tomorrow, Trey. I'll have you start us off. Yeah, uh, I didn't like that. But I'm going to be going with another one of my teams here. Give me the Maris at Biginton game here, and I'm very excited to watch this game. Sign me up for another Maris Red Foxes game. Give me Maris here plus one and a half. I fully do expect them to win this game, but I just will gladly take the point here just in case something crazy happens. And Maris, they come this game with a 2-0 record and are 2-0 ATS as well. And that's because they beat UMBC and they have beat Army and winning both of those games by an average score of 68-57. to The Red Foxes' defense has been feisty and really great this season. And I think that's what's going to propel them to a nice victory here because Binghamton, they come this game with a 2-2 record and are 2-1 ATS this season. And they got beat by two Power 5 schools in Pittsburgh and Northwestern, losing those games by an average of 81-60, to 60, so losing it by 21 points. And I think that's a little bit closer to what we're going to see in this game than the team that beat a very small Division II school by 54 points. And Maris, they're simply just a team full of dogs, and I think it's going to show itself throughout this game. And Maris, they have honestly dominated this matchup since 2020 as well because they are 3-1 and one against Binghamton. And over those four games, Maris, they have a positive 0.17 point differential. So I expect that to show its head in this game. I love that we're getting Maris here as underdogs, but give me Maris here plus one and a half against Binghamton. Yeah, try to do like that play for my play today. I'm going to be looking at the University of Bryant going up against FAU. I'm going to take Florida Atlantic against the spread going up against Bryant. Over the last couple seasons, Bryant has been a pretty good team, but they've started this season without a win over the first three games. They have also not covered the spread in two of those three games. And they just lost their last game by 16 points to Boston University as a 7.5-point favorite. Florida Atlantic, on the other hand, has basically the exact same team that went to the Final Four last season. And they've covered the spread in both of their games so far, playing against a really good Chicago-Illinois team in the first game. 
They're going to dominate Brian on both sides of the ball. There's a huge size difference I'm going to talk about in the player prop side. And I would not be surprised if they put up 85-plus points in this game. They have one of the best offenses in the country, and they can score at will. So I think this is just a blowout for Bryant. Give me FAU against the spread against Bryant. We currently – do we have a line? Yes, it's at minus 22. Yeah, I figured it was going to be a blowout line. I still like FAU. Give me FAU minus 22 as my play. Trey, let's go over to the player prop. Start us off. Yeah, and uh, I just want to say something about that game. I absolutely love Florida Atlanta to dominate mm-hmm. in that game because uh, Bryant, it's not even two weeks in the season, and uh, they already have a new head coach. So it's been a turbulent mm-hmm. season for them. Uh, yeah, their head coach stepped away, cited mental health issues. So uh, it's a new coach, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see how that's going to turn out for him. But I do not think it is going to be a very good season for Bryant. But uh, yes. at the moment, I am – do what? I was, just, I was just thinking what would – like going 0 and 3 would be mental health, I guess. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Those college kids are probably riding them. Who knows what's probably, going on? Yeah. But uh, I am zero for zero at the moment. We are recording a little bit early, 5 p.m. here, Central Time. But I give out Tyson Walker to go under 17 and a half points versus Butler, and he's averaging 23 points per game. And I said, even if it comes out around this number, I'm still smashing the under because Butler's defense is very feisty. Yep, and I've got Bryce Hopkins go over his points. That number did come out at 14.5 tip offs in about one minute. So I'm going to watch that game after we hop off here. But hopefully Bryce Hopkins gets that 14.5 point. But Trey, let's take a look at the plays for tomorrow. Starts off. Yeah, I'm going to be going with Jordan Pope here for Oregon State to go over his points against Nebraska. I love watching this kid play basketball because last season he burst onto the scene as a freshman. And he finished that season averaging 12.6 points per game. And that earned him a Pac-12 uh, all-freshman first team honor. So that was very impressive for him. And Pope, he carried that momentum into this season because through his first three games, He's averaging 19 points per game, and I think he could easily reach that number and maybe even reach 20-plus here. And I honestly think we might be getting a nice discount line when it does drop because Nebraska, they come this game ranked as the 13th best defense in college basketball because they're only allowing 55 points per game. But whenever we look at who they've played, it is just a shit sandwich, if I'm being honest with you, because the four teams they've played have a combined record of 3-11 and That is just no bueno. Nebraska, they've just lined up some cupcake matchups, and they're going to get a stiff step up in competition here against Oregon State and Jordan Pope. So give me Jordan Pope to go over his points versus Nebraska. Yeah, Trey, I like that one. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at Vladislav Golden to go over his points against Bryant. Out of respect for him and myself, I'm going to just call him Golden because I'm pretty sure I butchered his name. But Golden is the big man. For FAU this season, standing at seven foot one, 240 pounds. He's a monster. He was a monster last season, but this season he's gotten much better, averaging 19 points and eight rebounds. Last season, he was only averaging 10 points per game and six rebounds, and he was also taking six shots per game. This season, he's taking double digit shots per game, and he's shooting at a 70% clip from the field, the best on the team. So he's shooting the ball a lot more this season. He's making a lot more, and I do expect him to go over this number. I also expect him to go over this number because Bryant doesn't have a true center on the team. Their tallest player is Trey. Take a guess who the tallest player on Bryant is who plays more than five minutes per game. Oh, God. Just give me uh, a height. You're saying that, I'm going to say probably 6'6". Six, six. The guards are decent height. Their forward is six foot six. The big man for them is six foot six. So we're getting a seven-inch advantage down low, and I can assure you FAU is going to be feeding the post in this game. Give me Vladislav Golden to go over his points as my play. Try let's look at the graphics. Start us off. Now, whenever I hear that, I think rebounds. Do you not want to flirt with that PRA? No, I mean, no, no, I don't. I just want the points. I think it's going to be like 14 and a half. And yeah, I, I think he's going to be out of the game. It's going to be like a Zach Eady thing. Zach Eady sometimes can put up 32 points and he gets like six rebounds. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to take the points. All right. I like it though. But uh, I gave out my Maris Red Foxes plus one and a half against Binghamton. Maris, they've dominated this matchup since 2020, and I think it's going to continue here in this game. They have a feisty defense, and I think it's going to carry them to a win, but I'm just going to take the point. And I'm also giving out Jordan Pope to go over his points, not under. Ignore the graphic. It meant over versus Nebraska. I think he's going to show up in this game. Nebraska, they played cupcake teams, and I think they're going to get introduced to what a Power 5 team looks like. Yeah, but I'm going to take FAU against the spread against Bryant. I think Trey said it was minus 22, so I'm going to take that one. And then I've got Vladislav Golden to go over his points against Bryant. Seven-inch advantage down low. That's massive. He's going to dominate this game. FAU is going to dominate the game, so I love that player prop as well. But, guys, that's going to do it for NCAA Basketball Plays and Props for Saturday, November 18th, Slated Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. 
Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to youtube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of subscribe. You can click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 